What's going on guys? We finally hit 100k, so as promised, I'm going to do a questions and answers video. Channel growth over the past month has been absolutely unreal, so thank you all so much. I asked a bunch of questions on Twitter and picked out the ones that got the most support, so uh, yeah, let's just get into the questions. If you had a sudden revelation that gaming was no longer for you, what would be the next thing you invest your time into? Uh, I'd just go to university and pursue the career that I was originally intending to, but gaming was just always a hobby for me and I never thought it would be a career path until like late last year. How did you meet Zard? I get asked this one a lot actually. I started playing competitive Fortnite squads back in the early days when 44 scrims were a thing. So uh, yeah, I already had a few thousand followers and was quite respected in the scene. Uh, we definitely had the best roster by far, but uh, because of school, a few of our players couldn't commit to playing a lot with the rest of us. So uh, yeah, I was just looking for a new player and stumbled across Zabi on Fortnite Tracker. The way we used to find players was uh, through KD and wins actually. Like, I don't know if you remember back in the day, everyone grinding stats. Guy had like 40 followers and literally no subs. But uh, yeah, he uploaded videos, build fighting keyboard and mouse players and it impressed me. Long story short, team didn't like him too much, so I saw potential in him and I decided to split off with him. And from there, we started doing solo snipes, building names for ourselves, and uh, that's when he met Fakie. They joined Vicious together, but because they'd started doing YouTube and I hadn't, that meant they were going to join and I wasn't, but that was fine by me. The rest is history. When do you think Fortnite will die? Uh, personally, I think Fortnite has like two to three years left in mainstream gaming. They're super smart when it comes to keeping the game alive. Like, as much as I hate some of their decisions lately, uh, it, it will really increase the longevity of the game. Like Comp Fortnite could be a thing for a long time as well because of how much money is behind it. And it's actually crazy to think about the future, but yeah, we'll see after World Cup, man, we'll see. What do you miss most about the old community? I'm going to assume you mean early Fortnite, back when people were on console and they were switching over from whatever other games they were playing. Uh, I'd say probably the casual fun side of things, you know. Being able to jump on with a bunch of good blokes and have a laugh until super late was always great. And uh, you couldn't get that anywhere else, you know. What are you studying at university? Uh, I was intending to study computer science and was accepted into the course, but I put that on hold or deferred it to pursue this for a little while. I can still go back whenever I want, but uh, yeah. Just gonna keep riding this out for a while. What are your goals for the future? Uh, I've achieved so many goals that seemed out of reach already and we're only a couple of months into the year, so I'm quite content with where I'm at right now. Uh, I wanna be the first controller player to win a large LAN event. That'd be super sick, whether it be solos or duos. But apart from that, just take it, uh, this gaming thing the furthest I possibly can, you know? What do I think of Forbes? <coughs> How long have you been doing YouTube seriously for? About five months seriously, and I uploaded randomly once or so a month for a while before that, but it was just for fun. What does 100k mean to me? 100k means a lot to me, you know? Like, it's been a grind to get there, and not many people ever get to see a number like that, no matter how much work they put in. People can work forever and never get there, so it means that I can finally call myself a YouTuber, and I'm excited to see where I can take it. Do you think switching to PC really gave your channel a major kickstart in the right direction? I think switching to PC was probably worse for my channel than better, you know? Like, I never got that massive influx of console fans, like all the console builders, etc., because I hadn't been doing YouTube for that long when I switched. I definitely improved as a player, resulting in better content to watch, but as I always say, I feel like my improvement came from the players I was surrounding myself with and learning from, as opposed to the extra frames. Did you ever see yourself becoming a professional Fortnite player? To be honest, not a chance. People that knew me a while ago know that I was pretty average compared to a lot of other players. I surrounded myself with good players, so I was alright, but being the best wasn't really a goal until late last year. I saw glimpses of what could happen when other controller players started to break through, and it got me excited. If you didn't start playing Fortnite, what would you be doing now? As I touched on earlier, I'd probably be at university, but things change all the time, so anything could have happened. How does one achieve the cock size of yours? Do you have any animals? Ah, uh, no, I really wanted a dog growing up and still do, but it just doesn't happen and can't really right now, but we'll see. Why is criticism important and how do you distinguish it from hateful comments? Being a YouTuber as well as a comp player, I'm constantly in the spotlight, so hate is a given. When I was first starting, I'd take it from everyone because I wanted to improve and any opinion was appreciated, but now, I only take criticism from people I respect, especially my duo Zabi. Criticism is a big thing in competitive gaming because without it, improvement is very difficult. Hate is a completely different thing. I try to ignore it completely, but it's hard sometimes, you know? It's even funny sometimes when you're just sitting in the lobby on stream and some Jimmy comes in in the chat and calls you a bot. He's not watched a single bit of gameplay whatsoever, 
but you know i don't get that sort of thing or how someone gets off on that but yeah that's youtube for you what's the best moment you've had on youtube so far so there's actually a couple of standout moments that i remember quite vividly uh one was hitting a hoverboard trick shot in front of 4,000 live viewers the first stream after i signed the ghost and uh when i hit 100k live do you remember squad scrims, PS4 1v1 teams, but it was whoever won the fight when we found each other? I mentioned this earlier because it's how I met Zabi. Uh, that was super fun, and without it, I don't think any of this could have happened. So yeah, I'm grateful for it. Did you ever see yourself becoming a professional Fortnite player for Ghost Gaming? As I said before, I didn't see myself being a pro at all. Ghost was the goal, but when it comes to tier one organizations, an offer from any is ridiculously hard. The fact that we did get offered Ghost is actually unreal. What was your dream org to get into? Am I your king? Help me! Coming from a PS4 to PC, what did you miss most about PS4 and love about PC? Uh, I like PS4 parties and the casual nature of console. Easily being able to invite and chat with multiple people, but uh, apart from that, PC is better in every way. What made you realise that you wanted to take Fortnite seriously and compete in the competitive scene? I think it was a combination of a few things. Winning a bunch of kill tournaments and seeing that there was money that I could win myself, and seeing Aiden, Camo, and Izzy become such prominent names in comp Fortnite. I knew if I set my mind to it, I could do something very similar to them, so uh, yeah. What's your favourite place to eat food? How's school, and is it interfering with the Fortnite grind? Uh, I finished school, but during school I was in the same position as many of you. I could only play a couple of hours on the weekend, but uh, never during the week. Have you been interested in gaming since a young age, and if not, when did you start? So my first game console was a Wii, and I played Wii Sport with my brother and family for fun when I was younger. I eventually got Black Ops on the Wii and had a lot of fun playing that, but I think it was partially more the excitement of being able to play an older person's game. Uh, I got Xbox eventually and played occasionally, but it was very strict until I left school. What are your thoughts on Oceana servers being called the lesser skilled players than the rest of the world? I do want to touch on this because it is controversial. I think if you're comparing the skill level in pubs, you're looking at it the wrong way. Every region is the same and has easy public lobbies with good players here and there. When it comes to comp format, every region has a different play style. Up until recently, OC had the best custom games and best practice out of anywhere, just due to the little amount of people searching for a game when scrims were being hosted in pubs. We'd get like 90 men stacked lobbies when other regions got a bunch of split 40s etc because of the amount of people searching. So EU is definitely the most competitive region because of how many people play Endgame there. But uh, NA and OCA are just different in my opinion. We have players here that are top level mechanically and IQ wise. Who do you reckon the best controller duo OCA is? I mean... Would you ever consider traveling overseas for a short period of time to pursue more competitive gameplay or to create content variety with other Ghost members? I do want to go overseas and it definitely will happen at some point. There's so many people I want to collab with in every region and there will be land events all around the world that I will be attending. What made you decide that you could play Fortnite as a career? Getting signed to a tier 1 organisation and my future on YouTube looking promising. What was your initial reaction when being signed to Ghost with Zabi? We were both super hyped and excited when we had officially signed and put out that it's official tweet together, but it, yeah, it didn't really hit us until then. So that's all the questions. Sorry if I didn't answer your question, but I think I covered mostly everything people wanted to know. Thanks everyone so much for 100K and here's to the next 100K. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.